Yo, what's Poppy Gamers? Welcome back to a brand new Bad Business video. And today we're gonna be checking out the brand new revamped Pancor Jackhammer. Now this shotgun uh, used to be very broken uh, back when it kind of just released. A lot of people were using it. It was it was not fun to play against. The real question is after this revamp, is that shotgun back? Well, let's find out. For the barrels, you get a short barrel and an extended. Obviously you can see this one increases ADS speed and mobility, which is nice. The mobility portion ADS Yes, who cares about that? And then we have an extended barrel, which increases range. Ammo types, we have the flechette rounds conversion. Uh, you can see the stats on the right side here. And then we have the polymer magazine. For under barrel, we only have one grip, which is the invader grip. For stocks, we have the minimal stock and also the padded stock. And for perks, we have nothing new, uh, just our usual stuff. So let me go ahead and throw together a setup real quick, and then we'll hop into some gameplay. And I will be going through all the attachments in this video. Uh, so you guys can decide if you want to purchase the weapon, if you would like to uh, via credits and or if it's worth it in general. All right, so I got our first setup here. We're rocking the extended barrel, the flechette rounds, the invader grip, minimal stock, and lightweight. The reason why I went with this setup is to try to increase the range as much as possible to see how effective this actually is. I feel like I should get a couple kills without attachments real quick. Let me go ahead and do that, and then and then I'll put these uh, attachments on again. All right, so let's get a couple kills without attachments, and then we'll throw some on. So you guys see the increase in all of that. Ow, what just happened to me? Hello. Um, I was actually using this on stream a little bit with absolutely no attachments. It wasn't that good. Um, it definitely is probably annoying to play against, but it's definitely not like anything crazy, uh, without attachments. I haven't used any attachments on this yet though, so I have no idea if it can be good, but the base weapon is just kind of meh, uh, but could be annoying. I don't know if how much aim punch it gives or if it does give aim punch, uh, but, uh oh. Got him. Guy behind me and a guy above and a guy right here. Oh, I'm going to die for sure. Guys, I need to, I need you to relax. All right. After this life, I will be switching over to some attachments. So you guys can kind of see the differences uh, between the two. Uh, the shotgun isn't bad without attachments. It's just you have better shotguns, but it's definitely good that it's not broken uh, as an auto shoddy. So. Everybody knows how broken auto shot is going to be. A12 <coughs> PF. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let me throw on these attachments real quick. All righty, we threw on the first set of attachments. Now, this one's to increase the range as much as I could. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that I thought I one shot that guy for a second, but he only had 15 HP. Nothing to worry about yet. There is quite a bit of screen shake per shot, though. Might be kind of hard to get used to. We'll see. Stop it. I will hurt you. Oh. It's not like an actual ADS. I like this. Yes. Okay. We one shot him up close. That was like a barrel stuff though. Okay. That one was a two shot and I didn't hit all my pellets either. So this ammo type could be broken. It's very possible. I don't want to say it yet. I, I need to do a little bit more testing. Obviously I need to actually hit my shots. Boy, this is not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not looking good for for my sanity and other players sanities it's looking good for people that actually enjoy shotguns okay dude it, it's not easy to use like there is a lot of kick to it i definitely think it's something that you should tap and not hold left click uh i'm gonna i, I do want to say that don't hold left click with this all righty i feel like this might be a decent map for this is my sensitivity right Sure is. Okay, let's turn that up. Let's just hope there's no cheaters in this lobby. Because there's been a lot recently. That was quite a bit of hit markers there. So something I'm noticing really, really quickly, this might have an increase in range, but the the spread's quite a lot. And I don't know if it's like worth having these increase range if you can't really use it at range. I don't know. But maybe the increase of damage in general is nice. No clue. If you aim at around like neck and chest area, it doesn't seem to be too bad for medium range. Okay, we got him. I could not tell if that was an enemy or not. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, got him. Got him. 
Like at times it's like super good. I guess it's you just gotta get lucky with your RNG on the um on the spread, I guess. But at times it's definitely it seems like uh it's definitely RNG. That's what I'll say. Okay, we got him. Guy up above. No, 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 no. I'm about to switch over to the other ammo types probably after this life. So hopefully I can get a decent amount of kills here. I'd show it off a little bit more. Got him. We're going to go around this side. Hit him for 99 from there. Not too bad. The guy is so... I don't know what it is about him, but he seems so sus. All right, that's the end of that life. Let's go ahead and swap out these attachments. Okay, so this is the setup I'm rocking now. Uh, we're not caring too much about the mobility. We're at 90 right now. Uh, I did put on sleight of hand instead, but we're rocking the polymer, the invader grip, the padded stock, and uh, the sleight of hand. Now, the padded, sto padded stock is actually decreasing camera shake. So I wonder if I put this on with the other ammo, because uh, the issue I was having with it was the camera shake. It was pretty intense. Um, but maybe this would completely get rid of that. So I might have to test that right at the end of the video to really see or not. That guy just jumped off the map, but all right. Yeah, that definitely decreases the camera shake. I didn't know which one to focus. There's too many. This guy. This build's not too bad. Got him. I do feel like using the decreased camera shake might not be worth it for this build that I'm running right now, though. So I'm going to put on this other ammo real quick and see if this really helps with the camera shake or not. So definitely helps, but it doesn't. I don't know. We'll see. I might get a couple kills with it. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Alrighty, but that's pretty much the the jackhammer shotgun. Um, it's definitely going to be annoying to play against. I don't think it's anything that's like meta or anything crazy at all. Uh, but annoyance, probably, for sure. It's just one of those shotguns that's going to be annoying to play against. It's not really going to be that good that using it. But yeah, that is the setup that I ran at the end here. I think the one I used beforehand, this is probably the better setup right here. Uh, if you guys want to try it out for yourself, you guys can. But yeah, that is the uh, Pancor Jackhammer Shotgun. Uh, you guys can leave some comments down below of your opinions on it. Uh, for me personally, I would not purchase this or use it. So, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for your support recently. Peace out.